Can you show the last move we did? The cradle? Yeah. From the cradle in general or which part of it? It's all of it. All of it? Yeah. The guy shoots in, right? So, again, his head, belly wizard, knock him down, elbow his ribs, can you the cradle? Having a hard time doing that one. Start the knee movements, knock him down, elbow on his ribs, cradle. Start getting hit at him, and start doing it all at one time. Knock him down. Where it comes, the trick to the cradle is his arm. Going back arm deep, right? So, the trick is this. Once you get back arm, I'm in control here. Okay, what's this guy do? Pop his head out. Cradle, right? Keep his head inside, knock him down, right? He starts trying to wrestle me. You know, it's not working, far equal. Right, so I have a lot of options, but that trick is that far, that back elbow getting deep. Got a lot of options there. It's a toxic sweat, it's been alive. It's pretty sweaty. Yeah. <laughs> Any questions? A rabbit trap? Is that like when there's a rat? situations. I mean, it's not really anything different. To me, it's just finding ways to continue wrestling through positions. Because the guy gets on my leg, I doesn't mean I just give up a takedown. I try to find a way to score. I don't really think about stalemating. I want to score. When a guy gets my leg, I want to try and score out of that position. And if I don't score, this is my philosophy. If I don't score, I want this guy to have to wrestle so hard to get a takedown that he doesn't want to shoot anymore. Or that he's so tired, he's back up to our feet, I'm right back in on him and I'm score my takedown. I just don't want to give up easy takedowns. So there's going to be times when he just blasts me off my feet. It's going to happen. But most of the time when he shoots, I'm going to make him really wrestle hard and try to take me down. He gets a takedown, okay, no big deal. Back on our feet, we continue wrestling. Get off the bottom, reverse him, whatever. But, I mean, best worst case scenario, he takes you down. He's already on your leg. He's probably going to take you down anyways. Best case scenario, he's on your leg, you wrestle the position, you score out of it. Scoring defensively is one of the best feelings, right? This guy's got to get right, so I have to scramble and get on top. You can't help but put a smile on your face because you, you got him. You've been in a position that you're beating you in. So that's what's fun, right? These, these positions are just time, right, Joe? We, we call a lot of play wrestling. I've heard Penn State guys talk about it. So well, really, it's just taking time, wrestling these positions, have the guy starting on your leg. He's trying to finish. I'm trying to just figure out a way to not let him finish. When I wrestle live, but we're just giving each other a different feel every single time. So very, very, very rarely do I ever drill repetition. Like I just shoot a bunch of high crotches. For me, it's more just okay, I move the guy around, I get to my leg, he kind of starts trying to wrestle the position, and I just figure out how to finish. You know, vice versa. He kind of starts to my leg, and then I just do a different feel. Might try and kick, might try and turn, go far ankle, go wizard. Before you know it, you start getting used to doing a lot of different things that you didn't know you could do because you just kind of play around in there. And then you start learning how one thing goes together and starts to the system. So, any other questions? How was that transition? That was my transition when I moved up weight class. Uh, it was tough because 
mean, it's a 26-pound weight jump. So that's a big weight jump. And wrestling the best guys in the world is tough. So it was slow transition, but it took me about July to September. So it took me 14 months to really get adjusted. And then over the last 14, and then over the last 10 months, I've really started to fill out, lean down, and feel really good at the weight class. So it took me time. It was hard. It was like if I took a 25-pound weight jacket and said, hey, buddy, stand up. I put a backpack on you and I put a 25-pound weight in your backpack and I said, okay, do everything you're already doing. You'd be tired. Because you're carrying 25 pounds around that you didn't ever have before. So that was the most difficult part. So, but it just takes time. You just got to just learn, rest through it, through those positions. I just didn't, things didn't work the same. I didn't move the same. I was slower. Uh, I got really tired for a while, but I adjusted my diet and I was able to transition pretty good. Pretty good. Other questions? All right, thanks. That's a good session. You guys got your belt. Get the water break. You got your belt. Bring it in. Everybody bring it in.